Hello movie lovers and welcome to CML Theater Movie Review, home of independent films. This is definitely the home of independent films. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no question about that. But listen guys, if you into beautiful women, uh, mayhem, murder, rock music, sex, drugs, then you came to the right place here on CML Entertainment. <laughs> Strip Club Massacre. This movie definitely lives up to its title. That's for damn sure. <laughs> <laughs> the movie was directed by Bob Clark, also written by Bob Clark and Bruce Kilroy. Oh my god. <laughs> I want to start with this one. This movie is off the chain in so many ways. But the movie starts off with you seeing this woman, this girl Megan, and you know she's trying to she's trying to work and, and trying to get her shit together. You know, trying to just get through life like we all trying to get through life. Which I can relate to that character because I had that shit done to me. You know, she she comes to work, she's trying to do a job. Somebody's giving her a hard time on the phone. Her boss walks in and, and tells her that she wants to talk to her, and she's like, "Well, is it bad or is it good?" Which is fucked up she said oh no nothing wrong right so they get to the back. office <laughs> <laughs> and then she ended up firing the damn girl so not to make matters worse she already had a bad day because she just lost a job <laughs> make <laughs> i just can't help it i can't help it i've been laughing ever since okay so she gets home and and she's like babe babe but it turns out that babe is upstairs <laughs> He upstairs just 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 putting the wax on the the shit. <laughs> <laughs> so she goes upstairs. She hear him moaning. Next thing you know, turns out that her boyfriend is screwing her fucking roommate, which was so disrespectful. Yes. Cause when he approached, he said, "Babe, you know, you act like this. You ain't like this wasn't happen. Like you didn't have it coming. This was come basically just letting her know like this shit was gonna bounce. It was gonna happen." So it wasn't shit you could do about it. It was just how disrespectful he was. But then the damn roommate didn't make it no better. She's no, like, she didn't. <laughs> she's like, listen, babe, is you going to finish? Uh, is we going to finish? Or I'm going to have to do it myself. So <laughs> Megan just sitting in the room. She's all fucked up. She's like, okay, I lost my job. I lost my boyfriend. And my roommate's a dick. And then he slides her money under the door and say, honey, could you go to the hotel? For the night, I mean, could you go to the, the hotel? Motel. Motel, not hotel. <laughs> motel. So, <laughs> all her way out, she just all sad and fucked up. You really feel sorry for Megan in this yeah, movie. I dude. swear, man, this girl had the worst day of her fucking life. And on her mm. way out the door, you just see them in the room, just just doing it. He just banging her from the back. Just <laughs> and then she goes, not tell the girl bye. See, that, that couldn't happen. That to mm -hmm. some extent, that shit wouldn't have went down like that. Mm -mm. But in the movies, anything can happen. Right. In reality, that shit wouldn't have went that well. No, I'm with Not my butt. <laughs> 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 Ain't no question about that. Okay, so later on, um, Megan gets up with a friend. Um, I think her fr best friend name was Kim. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think it was Kim. I'm not sure because there's so many girls in this film, and <laughs> she gets up with a best friend. Best friend is really pretty. She looks yes, like a yeah. doll. Yeah, like, <laughs> like a, a Barbie, Barbie doll, like for sure. But uh, she gets up with her best friend. Her best friend is really cool. She's one of those best friends that everybody wish they had that ride or die. That's somebody <laughs> that would not like stare you wrong and and, mm -hmm. and and always looking at your best interest. So she she her best friend's boyfriend. Ends up, he owns this club. He owns the strip club. So at first, she she wanted to go there as a bartender and um, get on her feet. And then it Wait. ends up getting a little darker than that. It's a lot of places. It's it's like I don't spoil already the beginning of the film, so I don't want to go into deeper territory. But when I say the girl Jazz, she is all <laughs> the fucking change. Yes, <laughs> Like, old girl don't give a fuck, and our homegirls ain't no better. No, they, they ain't not. no better. They just as evil as her asses, and they and they will annihilate any competition that brings their ass up in that strip club. <laughs> and then it's so many things going. It's like the movie. It's like it's like a it's like a wild shootout. It's like bullets going left and right. I'm just talking about like far as the. I'm I'm painting a picture for y'all to show y'all what would how's the story is, but the story definitely evolves around Megan, and you really get to see why. Megan end up becoming what she became and I really felt sorry for that character because she went through some shit. I mean, mom died. She found out some fucked up shit about her past. Well, Losing a job. Boyfriend screwed her over. The fucking shit discontinuing. Before we get any further than that, let's get some movie rated, shall we? 
I give this movie a big ass smiley face. Oh, yeah. Now, I definitely had to put this on the table. So when y'all go check this film out, because the film releases on May 2nd. You're going to you're gonna definitely like this film if you're a core indie lover. And I'm talking about, like, core indie. Core indie, to me, is something that isn't perfect, but you see what they're trying to do. So you can see past the mistakes. You can see past shit that you know what it is, but you still enjoy it for what it is. And that's what this film is. This film is definitely enjoyable. And fun. You're going to see a lot of ass. You're going to see a lot of stripping. You're going to see a lot of drugs. You're going to hear a lot of metal. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> but good, but they got some good rock songs on here. I'm not gonna yeah, lie, they got, they got some good metal on here. They got some good um, DJ shit on here too. They got some good beats on here. I mean, the movie is 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 just fun. You just enjoy it. Me and my wife enjoyed the hell out of this yes, movie. We really enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. I liked it for what it is. Pink dildos. You name it, <laughs> it's in this movie. <laughs> I just thought a lot of y'all like the girl jazz and our homegirls is off. The fucking chain. <laughs> and Megan, you honestly feel sorry for her. And I love her best friend. And everybody's just a dick in their own way. But that's how it is, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, they nailed it as far as how the strip life is. Yes. Like how, what that strip club really life did. is like. They nailed that shit to a T. That's what I also liked about the movie. I like how this woman got every way. Everyone was telling her, don't do it. Don't yeah, you want to go that signs. route? She was getting all the signs. And, she was just, I, and you feel why she's gone. You understand why. She's just like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm done. My life fucked up. Why not? <laughs> Check this movie out. Strip Club Massacre. It definitely lives up to its title. You're going to love the ending. I enjoyed this shit out of it. We love this film. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know what you think about Strip Club Massacre when it comes out May 2nd. Because I told you what I thought about it. It's just fun. It's core indie. It's fun. It's not perfect, but it's still fun. And I'd like to give a huge shout out to Michael and Steven for uh, giving me this opportunity to view this film before it come out. I love you guys at Brain Damage and also Midnight Releasing. You guys are amazing. And just thank you for accepting CML and your family as well. We love you guys and we thank you. Also, I'd like to thank the director and the writers and also all the females. I give them huge props. But Dawn, mm -hmm. when they could do this, that one girl was stripping on the pole. I was dying <laughs> laughing, but she still pulled it off. <laughs> And just overall, I just like to thank everyone. You know, this this is why we do this. You know, core wherever you call indie or not core indie, if if you know, if you could just look past and just get over your little miniature brain, you will understand that what they were trying to do with this film and the film is really good, it's definitely worth checking out and check it out on May 2nd. And to all my movie lovers, keep it scary. I love you. <laughs>